Now let's think about putting it all into action. Leading up to your event, consider whether you need to confirm the numbers of people attending, whether you need to contact participants to provide any further information or to let them know that they're able to attend. Having a briefing meeting with all staff and volunteers so that everyone knows what they're doing on the day. And also remember to plan your evaluation activities. What information do you need to collect to find out what people thought about your event or service and to show the impact that you've made? On the day, remember to think about having a sign-in sheet so that you know who's attended. Also consider the setup of the room. Where do you want the tables and chairs? You'll also have to consider setting up the materials and equipment, including IT equipment, and it's a good idea to test the equipment before the event starts. Signage, do you need to make signs to tell people where to go? And remember health and safety. For example, do you know the fire evacuation procedure and what to do in the case of an emergency? You may also want to have a named person for various roles. For example, first aid, health and safety, IT, refreshments, and someone to take notes if you need this. If you have someone to take photos, then remember to ask people if they're happy for their photos to be taken, and you may want to have a form that they can sign for this. And lastly, evaluation. You may want to ask people to fill something in, or you could also have volunteers going around the room to speak to people and to gather their feedback. After the event, remember to thank everyone who contributed to running the event and making it happen, and also to thank participants and follow up with them if required. It can also be a good idea to have a meeting with staff and volunteers to discuss how it went and to think about any learning for next time, and also to agree who will do the final tasks. Finally, you may wish to share the experience, write a report if required, or look at feedback from any evaluation activities. Post on social media, but remember you'll need permission to share photos. You may also wish to thank or report to a funder. And lastly, congratulate yourselves on a job well done.